it's Artasia Livy here. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are discussing a month 23 November update of my personal TV film journey. So if this interests you, stay tuned. So y'all, I'm here to update y'all on what happened in November in my TV and film journey. So let's get into On The Move Atlanta. So I finally seen the first season of On The Move Atlanta and the trailer. It's completely done. Y'all, when I tell you this show looks so good, like, oh my gosh, it's giving like, not ratchet, but classy, but a little bit of drama, a little bit of messy, but talks about career, talks about business, but get into the personal lives. So it's just like that perfect balance of drama and of, what should I say, substance reality. Like it is good substance. It's not like trash. It's like really good substance and it, it just takes a dive into like five creatives, business and personal lives. It's really, really good. Like I love my show. I'm so proud with how this season came out. Shout out to Alex Moore who edited it my show and it looks so good and even the trailer y'all like the trailer is so so good i posted the trailer on my youtube channel so if you guys want to check it out y'all should definitely watch it it's something that i feel like after people watch it they definitely want to actually check out the show and watch this season i submitted to film hub y'all i submitted the show to film hub um after i got everything back in November so it looks pretty good so far um, we're gonna see if quality control hits me back up and say I need something um, I think you only get three strikes with quality control in them hub so uh, hopefully everything looks good and it's perfect to the T I did pay for the location for the season premiere already. Um, I told y'all I'm going to have a season premiere in January. It's going to be a really, really dope event. It's going to be like a networking mix, mix with um, the season premiere type shit. So I'm really excited about the season premiere. I already locked in, secured the location. I also priced the red carpet and um, a couple like the core items like different things for the premiere and I'll probably pay for that with my next check and I just got a couple things to pay for and pay like the people that I'm hiring for the event but that'll probably be like the day of and then um, I'm gonna get the backdrop for the red carpet um, with my next check so everything's coming together just got a little bit more things to uh, buy for the season premiere and then we're gonna have the season premiere and if you guys want to come to that, I have the flyer on On The Moves Instagram page. So you guys got to check um, that out if you guys are interested in coming. Like, grab a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Y'all definitely want to pull up because it's going to be a situation. So let's get into acting. So my agent sent me a Disney commercial. Um that I could have auditioned for, but I actually rejected it because I am working a lot in December and I would have no time to do shoot the Disney commercial. It was in Orlando, so I have to fly back and forth and it was for like multiple days. So it just didn't fit with my December schedule, even though I do plan on quitting my job in January, so. I'm gonna make another video about me leaving my job, but um, yeah, like even though I do want to focus more on like my acting, my TV film, filmmaking, stuff like that, YouTube, um, I decided not to audition for that commercial. Um, I just felt like, yeah, it wasn't right fit. I'll be making more money at my job in December than at that commercial. And remember I told y'all I had signed up for a monologue competition in October. Um, yeah, so I did not place in the competition. I did really well. I did my best, but I feel like my problem with my monologue competition was, um, like, well, one of the judges told me, she was like, she didn't want to see, like, the angry black girl role. Like, I should have stepped up my comfort zone with the monologue. 
So I've seen a lot of people doing like Shakespeare and different things like that. So maybe I could have done like something different and not just like the average typical role, like the easy role per se. She said I did good and Clips and Powell was one of the judges. He said I did good too, but I guess that wasn't kind of the role that they wanted the monologue competition finalists to have done. And I'm also applying for a couple game shows. Um, some of the, these game shows are on Fox because after I had um, did that one game show, I did a vlog on it, um, you gotta check it out. After I did one of those game shows, I was like, hmm, I can do a couple more of these and hopefully win some money. I have applied to a couple and I'm gonna apply for a couple more soon. And I think I'm gonna start like looking into some good game shows I can apply for. That would be good for me. And as far as screenwriting, I sent a query letter to a black agency that um, I met a couple of the agents at the monologue competition and um, I was looking for, well, I'm still looking for literary representation. So I sent my query letter to them. They told me to email them or whatever and I did, but then like a couple of weeks later, they were like, oh, they're not um, looking for new clients. They're just gonna worry about the clients that they have already, which is very unfortunate. <laughs> Um, but it's all good though, because I did apply for a pitch tent, which is like a live pitch session at PVIFF, which is Peachtree International Village. No, Peachtree Village International Film Festival. Um, I applied for their pitch tent and um, hopefully, uh, you know, that goes well. And We'll see how, you know, my screenwriting journey goes because I am looking for representation. But as of now, I'm not looking good for your girl. But yeah, so um, that is a November update. I hope you guys enjoy. I told you it was going to be real quick. Definitely like, comment, subscribe. And y'all follow me on social media. Bye.